Let's make this shatter effect in Adobe After Effects. Take a new composition. OK. Double click here to import the biscuit PNG. This is the transparent PNG that I have downloaded already. Import. Drag and drop it on the timeline. Go to Windows. Effects and Presets. Search Shutter here. Drag and drop this shatter effect on the biscuit layer. This is the effect. Change the view from wireframe to rendered. Play it to see the effect. Go to the shape options. Change the pattern from bricks to glass. This is what it looks like. We will make a new solid here. Go to Layer. New Solid. I will name it Mask. OK. In Affix and Presets Search Fill. Drag and drop this fill on the mask layer. Change the color from red to white. OK. Turn off the eye of the mask layer. Make sure that the mask layer is selected. Select the pen tool. Draw a shape. A random shape on which mask will be applied. Turn on the eye to see the mask. Turn it off again. Go to the cookie layer. Go to the gradient options. Change it from none to mask. Change it from source to effects and mask. Make shutter threshold to 1%. This is what it looks like now. Make the repetition to 50. I think it is too much. Change it to 30. Click on the origin and adjust it where you want the shatter effect to start. I think I should keep it on the top. Give 0 0.05 value to extrusion depth. Now the area where the biscuit is chartered should be a little bit darker as compared to the biscuit itself, so let's apply the dark effect to it. Go to Lightning option. Light intensity. Lower the light intensity. Now increase the intensity of ambient light. I think this looks good. Now I will close these. Go to Physics. Make the gravity zero. Now let's see what it looks like. Fine.
Make the rotation speed 1. We can change it if needed. OK. Change the tumble access from free to XC. OK. Let's change the rotation speed to 0 0.3. Change the randomness to 0 0.2 at velocity to 0 0.50. Close the physics options. Now go to force 1. You can adjust where you want the shatter to start by changing the radius. Put the bar on the 7 frame. Add a keyframe to the radius, go to the 4th frame. Make it 0. Press U to see the keyframes. You can adjust it the way you want. I will close it. Now make a duplicate of this biscuit layer by pressing Ctrl D on your keyboard. In this new layer we are going to make changes to it to make the shutter effect more appealing. Go to the properties of it. Shape options. Make the repetition 200. Now see what it looks like. Change the extrusion depth from 0 0.05 to 0. Go to Physics. Change the randomness to 0 0.50. Change the velocity to 0 0.6. OK. Go to force 1. Change the strength value to 4. Now we can see the difference that the duplicate layer has created by turning of the eye of the duplicate layer. OK, now I want to rotate the biscuit a little bit. For that let's first parent both the layers to the first layered. Rotate it a little bit. Now if you want to apply the same shatter effect to the other parts of the biscuit what you need to do is click on the mask layer. We have a mask one which is already applied to the biscuit. If I want to apply shatter effect to any other part of the biscuit I will make a shape on top of it make a rectangle here. Another rectangle here. Now see the effect by playing the video. Now if I want to delete it I can do it easily by deleting the mask layers. If you want to make any other shape using pen tool, do it just like the way we had made rectangles. Make a shape by using the pen tool. 
Now see the effect by playing the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any confusion, ask me in the comment section. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel.